Hi, in this video we will do the pre-flight checklist for the installation of the Centrify HTTP SSO module for Apache. And all it does, it extends uh, the native authentication mechanisms of Apache to provide uh, basically Kerberos or NTLM authentication, or basically what is called uh, Windows integrated authentication uh, to non-Windows platforms leveraging Centrify. So um, you can read the post uh, about the benefits. Uh, so let's just focus on implementation here. We need to do a pre-flight checklist to find out what, what do we need to download first. So in here, what I'm doing, I'm using um, you know, my CentOS 6 um, uh, platform here. Um, the setup is pretty much the same for any architecture, but um, you know, some nuances here and there. So what I need to capture is A, the OS version. As you can see, I, I'm running CentOS. Um, what is the, um, the Apache version? Um, I'm basically running um, you know, Apache 2.2 here in the architecture 64-bit. Uh, my agent is the 5.2 agent for uh, Centrify. And uh, notice that me, my HTTPD daemon is stopped. That means I need to start it. So um, let me go ahead and, and start it so that we will leave easy view uh, service HTTPD start. And this should start um, uh, the HTTP daemon. Uh, with that information in mind, I just go to the Centrify website and uh, go to the download center. Um, all I need to do is go and download the Apache SSL module. In my particular case, because I'm using CentOS 64-bit, um, here it is. This is pretty much the file that I need. And once I have that file, all I need to do is uh, you know, download it and copy it to my target system. Another thing that I want to make sure is that from the browser, and I'm going to do the testing that I can actually reach um, uh, the the site that I'm trying to find. So in here, um, uh, you know, I'm using Internet Explorer for this testing. We'll do some Firefox at the end. But uh, one of the things that I want to make sure is that from uh, uh, intranet, um, I'm, I don't own the corpcontoso.com. That's basically a Microsoft um, um, domain. But we need to make sure that we understand what we're doing here. We need to make sure that when it comes to security, for the browser to be able to negotiate SPNego, um, we need to make sure that the uh, uh, the FQDN or basically the the domain suffix, the Kerberos domain um, that we're going to be using, is in the local internet or in trusted sites, and that's pretty much it. So I can access the server, service running. I got the the, the file, and uh, we'll, next video is going to be with setup. Okay.